Hey, I'm Tom. Welcome to Ledgemere. Today we're going to bust the snow out of the driveway. And before we get started with that, let's meet our cast of characters real quick. The star of the show is this Mahindra 1635 shuttle shift tractor. R1 tires with chains. Front we've got our six foot snow pusher. Materials bucket is detached, but it's here if I need Back, it. Back we've got our five foot blizzard two stage snow blower. The first stage is the auger, the second stage is the blower. A three stage would actually have a screw, like an, like an auger screw that would pull the material from these augers into the impeller. So this is a two stage snow blower, five foot. It's warming up out, so the snow that we've been getting it's turned into a kind of a sleet. So I gotta get this stuff out of here. The first thing I'll do is get the block heater warming up the tractor while I go in the barn. These rear mount snow blowers are half the cost of a front mount snow blower. And with a front mount snow blower, you can't use your bucket, so you can't pile the banks back or anything else. I don't do a lot of backwards snow blowing anyway. It's just to get out of the corners. A lot of times what I'll do is just coming out of this little carport here, I'll turn the snowblower on just to get a place to turn around. Actually, two PPO engagement levers. There's one on the left. Then you get the button here on the right, so it's like electric and manual PPO. First and foremost, with the train I have, I have to have tire chains. The pitch of the driveway, even under best conditions, when the ice is over, it's very difficult to get back up without chains. And so, having said that, I have a nice set of ring chains on there that go across the lugs instead of down inside. When you get chains that go down inside the lugs, it makes it kind of ineffective because what happens is, you know, the, the cleats are up here and the chain goes down here. So maybe a couple are touching, but it's not really effective. So you really want either ring chains or the Canadian chains, which has a ring and then like a spider that comes out and goes across with, rather than the cheap ladder type chains that kind of get stuck down inside the, the snowblower I have. I bought that with my Max 26, so it was ideally suited for the smaller tractor. However, the the Max has industrial tires on it, and I have chains on it, but it's really not that great of a tractor with a snowblower because what it has is the hydrostatic heel-toe transmission, and when you're driving backwards, your body's kind of contorted, and using the heel-toe thing for me, and especially, is just a little bit difficult. With the shuttle shift, you just reach over in whichever direction you want to go, you move the lever, and so that, that works just fine. With the Max, there was a front snowblower option available, but it was double the cost of the rear snowblower, and primarily what I use the snowblower for is to get corners or to push the the side banks. Not not the end banks, but the you know the side edges of the of the driveway and get those removed. But generally speaking, I, I don't snow blow because it rides up too high and you don't get a good clean uh, you don't really get a clean sweep per se, so it doesn't remove all the material as well as the snow pusher. Snow pusher re works really well. I, I can either make it relief passes where I just kind of push off to the side, or it'll actually, bo it's a box blade that goes on the front of the tractor, so it really just keeps the snow in front, and I don't have any trouble pushing all the snow down to the end of the driveway. The advantage of having the snow pusher is, is that you can push the banks up higher, so that that works really well where if you just had the, the front end loader it, it really fills up quickly with material and it spills out the sides and it just takes a really long time to clean up and that's not the case with the snow pusher the second reason i didn't want the front mount snow blower is that you have to take it all off to use the loader and put it all back on to use the snow blower it's really time consuming and you, you lose a lot of clearance underneath the tractor by having that extra drive shaft. You also have to pay for an extra valve, typically, and there's another whole drive shaft, so that really increases the cost of, of the front mount snowblower. 
I had a little tractor, like a little BX or something that didn't have a snow blower, and I just had, say, a mower, rototiller, snow plow, then a, a blower would be perfect because you don't you don't have a loader, so you're not switching back and forth anyway. Even though the Mahindra has a preheater on it, and Mahindra tells me you don't really need a block heater, I just feel like it's a lot easier on the machine if the you know either the the antifreeze is warm or the the oil is warmed up before you try to start the motor. It's just it just starts a lot easier, and, and I. Fifty or sixty bucks, you can add yourself a block heater, and that that just really simplifies uh, your life quite a bit. Thing I, I put on these tractors that run in the winter is a little battery tender. You can get them from John Deere for about forty or fifty bucks, also, and they just kind of tie wrap up in there by your battery with a cord hanging out. And what you do is it's like a battery tender. So when you're not using the tractor, you you can plug it in, and it just keeps the battery tar type batteries. They're lead acid, so they don't develop a memory, and and so a battery tender is ideal. They those lead acid batteries actually like to be charged all the time. The disadvantage about having the snow pusher is that you kind of transfer the the weight off the front wheels of the tractor. It either goes to the to the snow pusher itself on your bucket even with float or it goes back to your, your drive wheels which is great for traction but not so great for steering so you have to unlock your 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 brakes so you steer with your brakes a little bit and you, you just have to sometimes when you're going around the corners you you lift off the lots of different types of equipment to remove your snow lots of different scenarios and why you would need different things but this is what works for me and so Fluffy stuff. The yard kind of tapers off to the left, which is what I wanted to, for drainage, but when you push it across the side of a hill like that, it makes the front end slide, so I end up making a few like relief cuts over here anyway. Is it makes a mess in the spring if you do it too early because you push your driveway off on the grass. So you really want that. But once you, it freezes up in January, the base of the driveway is not going anywhere.
I have for today. I appreciate everyone watching. Try to stay dry. Talk to you next time.